Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to continue to build out our course outline by adding new posts, or in other words, also known as new lessons. So let's go to our course. Now, if you're not there yet, and if you are logged in and you're just at your dashboard to find your course, you just go to products and select your course. Okay, now we're back. All right, now let's start adding some lessons. So we're going to click on this blue plus button and I'm going to add a post. I'm just going to call this lesson one and hit save. And I'll just for do it again a couple more times, but you can quick easily understand that this is a very easy thing to do. You can whip up a course outline in no time at all. So I'm just going to call this lesson three. So go ahead and do all of this. You're going to go ahead and, and complete, fill out all your, your outline. I love having a course outline written somewhere else so that all I have to do is refer back to it and I can whip out this outline so fast that it's really, really easy. All right, now let's go ahead and let's start adding content. To add content, we'll begin by going to our lesson one and I'm going to scroll over to this pencil icon and click the edit. Now, what would we like to add? Now, most of my courses are done with video, okay? Video and with some download buttons. Assessments are for quizzes and surveys and things like that as well. So most of the time throughout this course, we'll be selecting video. So we're going to select video and we're going to go ahead and navigate to our video. Open the video you want to insert and it will start uploading. Okay, once your uploading is complete, it will send it over to Wistia. Fantastic, here's a confirmation that it's been uploaded. Please click save to continue processing. Of course, we're gonna click on save. So while it's doing its encoding thing, you can go down here and start editing some of these details. So the title usually is preloaded as the title of the video that you uploaded. So if it's not something that is sort of um, going to be obvious to your students, make it obvious. So we can say getting started with Kajabi. And again, because I think my video said, you know, intro to KJ or something like that. And you want it to be something obvious, okay? And again, it's in this category, module one in getting started. If I wanted to add some text and say, here is some details about this video lesson, okay? And you could, you know, dress it up and change the text color and things like that. All right, now let's say, so we're in draft. Let's pick a poster image and you could keep the same poster image throughout. So let's pick a file. I'm gonna go to my computer and choose file. I'm going to pick any image that I have. I'm not sure what it's, whether it's even going to be in the right proportions. It looks like it might be, so I'm going to hit save. Again, it's uploading. And once that's done, you'll see it over here. Make sure it's in the correct dimensions. Fantastic. Hit, let's hit save. Now, suppose you had a download associated with this. Maybe it was a PDF file with like a workbook, workbook or something like that. You can simply do that here. So we can hit add downloads, navigate to where you might have a PDF file. And I'm just gonna click any PDF. I think this is a, either a knitting tutorial or something like that. So um, again, we'll let that upload. Okay, so we have this download here and you can add more. Just X out of that. Comments, do you want to have comments? I always like to have comments visible because why not? Um, it's great feedback. So the last thing we need to do is hit published and we're gonna hit save. All right, let's check out what our new lesson looks like. So we're gonna to go to preview. All right, here we are in module one. This is our first lesson called Getting Started with Kajabi. And if you play it, it will start a movie, or uh, a video rather. And now you can have it marked as complete. And here's our download. All you have to do is click on this, which will take you to your PDF. You could open it up, open it again. I think that, yeah, this is a, a, knitting, a knitting pattern. 
All right, so that is how you create your first lesson. All right, now um, I have to go and fill in my information here so that everybody knows that I'm the instructor. Fantastic. I will see you in the next lesson.